I'm Donna Volkman and I am an Albert Einstein Distinguished Educator Fellow this year here at the Department of Energy Office of Science. Specifically here at the Department of Energy, my colleague Sally and I are in are very busy with the National Science Bowl competition. Being an Einstein Fellow, we have an opportunity to do lots of activities with the other fellows. Some of my favorite things have been going behind the scenes at the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. We got a behind the scenes tour of where the actual research scientists do their work and see the collection of research artifacts that they use to conduct DNA research. Um, just really putting together the tree of life for our world. That was really cool. We were able to attend the what they call the Golden Goose Awards, and that was held at the Library of Congress, which is one of the most beautiful buildings in Washington, D.C. And we're able to afterwards meet and talk with these research scientists who have really made discoveries that have changed the lives of people on Earth. One of the great opportunities we've had was to attend a Bayer Making Science Make Sense event uh, with Mae Jemison, who was the first African-American female astronaut. And to be able to meet her, hear about her passion for science literacy, understand what it's like to thank a teacher, was one of the highlights and, and it happened at the very beginning of our fellowship so it was um, I think will be one of the great memories that I have from from being here at uh, the Department of Energy. It's so hard when someone says what's your favorite part about the fellowship because here we are halfway into it and every time I think of something I've done it's my new favorite thing. I had the opportunity in October to go to Brookhaven National Labs and work with their amazing educational outreach program. So I got to work with their day in the life of the Peconic Estuary, where we traveled to eight or nine different beaches along um, the North Fork of, the, of Long Island. Uh, taking water samples with kids, trying to figure out the health of the bay. I also got to go to the Long Island Aquarium which happens to have a penguin exhibit and I just have this slight obsession with penguins so I got to go to penguin preschool and hang out with Kevin the penguin and learn about penguins. They're not all that nice actually and uh, but it was still just another amazing experience that I never would have taken advantage of if I weren't doing the fellowship. Well, another thing I was able to do, uh, we get updates obviously on what's going on in the Department of Energy and what's going on in the government regarding STEM, and we got a notification about the new 2016 Medal of Science awardees. And one of them was Dr. Shirley Jackson, who's the president of RPI, which is my father's alma mater. And she happens to live in this small town upstate New York, Bolton Landing, where my family's from. So I had the opportunity to attend a reception honoring Dr. Jackson at the Ritz in Washington, D.C. and learning how much this woman has contributed to nuclear science. I, I just had no idea and here she's almost a neighbor of mine um, up in Lake George. Another lab we had the opportunity to visit was the Jefferson Lab down in Newport News, Virginia. And uh, Jan Tyler, the lab director down there, lab education director, works in our office as well because she's in charge of the National Science Bowl. So Sally and I got to drive down to Newport News and participate in their Regional Science Bowl and helped as volunteers doing the timing um, and had the opportunity to work with students which I think Sally would agree that both of us miss working with our with our kids and um, engage them in some opportunities when they didn't move on to the next round of competition we were able to um, help them with some 
some challenging, some STEM challenge activities um, that were a cooperative effort and a little bit of competition for them to um, have some fun at the lab, even though they weren't the next part of the competition. Well, as part of our fellowship, the first Friday of the month, we get to get together with all the fellows and each of us develops a two hour activity that we can do um, for professional development with the, with the other fellows. So I had the opportunity to work with Jessica Mulhern and we put together a women in STEM presentation. So one of the most rewarding all day professional develops for me was uh, having the opportunity to go to the Library of Congress. We were, had the best tour guide possible, Connie Carter has been at the Library of Congress for about 50, 50 plus years, and she's in charge of the science catalog. They were so well prepared, they had read our bios, gave us books that each of us might be interested in, gave us an opportunity to look through these books, and then took us on a behind the scenes tour of the Library of Congress that was just amazing. We were able to talk to people about the education opportunities they have on the website. We were actually able to speak with former Albert Einstein fellow, Trey Smith, and his work with using primary resources. And Connie was just wonderful. She brought us cookies and told us where she got this original cookie recipe. The wealth of information that she has from helping people find information over 50 years is just amazing. Being in DC, I, I only live 20 miles from Washington, DC, and I have for almost my entire life. But you very rarely come downtown unless you have guests from out of town. So I have to say one of the most rewarding things, even with battling the metro every morning, is walking down, seeing the sunrise on the Sasonian Castle across from my office, and seeing the leaves change in the fall. It's just, it's just been, a very reflective time for me. In one particular time, Sally and I decided we'd go to the farmer's market. The park service had a display out, so we went up and started talking to them, and they had a, a dressed up as Smokey the Bear. So I went up and I said, oh my goodness, Smokey the Bear. My brother had a Smokey the Bear teddy bear that he was his favorite toy when he was a kid. And the park ranger looked at me and she said, it's not Smokey the Bear, it's Smokey Bear. You wouldn't say Donald the Duck, would you? Uh, another neat opportunity that we get being fellows is right upstairs is the Secretary of Energy for the United States government. So we've had an opportunity, we, we've been invited to a few opportunities to meet with um, Secretary Moniz, and we were even invited once to a small forum. There were about 20 of us in a conference room by the DC Writers Guild and we were able to sit and have a, have a very small conversation um, with him as he was announcing some um, new programs. We're going to visit NREL, which is the National Renewable Energy Lab out in Boulder, Colorado. They're helping to sponsor this huge program called Girls in Science at the Denver Science Museum. So I'm going to visit their facility have an opportunity to visit some of the local high schools and see how they teach energy in their high school. Help out with the program on Saturday with some 10,000 middle school girls. So I'm really excited to be able to participate in such a really cool STEM opportunity. Having this opportunity to work with 10 other professionals in the same shoes as myself has really made me understand that STEM isn't just what I'm doing. That STEM is the computer science part chemistry part, the materials part, the engineering part, and all together everyone has their little little niche that they think is their passion, but we realize that we really need the whole picture to get these kids ready for STEM careers. Didn't forget math, Matt. Math, Matt. <laughs> Matt! I know I didn't forget math, because that's a really important part too of STEM. <laughs>